You'd think after doing this for 10 years, I would have learned not to ask. So how was California? Okay. So how was seeing Diane again? <laughs> what kind of question is that? Well, did it curb the obsession? I'm not obsessed with Diane. No, but you are obsessed with her death. Yeah, okay, yeah, I was. So your crusade to find her killer. It's over. So you're done with the rabbit? Yes. And with Donovan? Yes, I am. Okay, and the you, the you in the 40s, when he met um, Laura, Laura Ashton, how did that make him feel? Well, the same. Wasn't Diane. Knew at the moment I laid eyes on her. But it helped me find peace. Uh, until Fish messed with the timeline and changed the Earp's history. The McClowries killed Wyatt Earp. And his brothers. It wasn't about stopping Donovan anymore. It was about protecting the timeline, protecting history. And that's why you and Tara went back to save the Earps. Yes, exactly. So the 1940s. Um, how long were you there? Got there in early 42, left in 48, so about seven years. And then you and Tara went um, back to the Old West, right? Well, we got there in 1880. Could have went straight to Tombstone, lived there for a year, but we thought we'd explore a bit, you know? I mean, it was the Old West, and we had automatic weapons. Well, yeah. So I guess you'd probably want to know more about Tara and I back in the 1880s. Yeah, um, I would. But first, uh, I'd like to know a little bit about the world after the Seven Sisters. Really? Why? Well, I mean, Colin Donovan is president now. I mean, here, in our timeline. And you said the Day of Seven Sisters happened shortly after he became president. And I mean, the way he became president was the same with the bombing of the State of the Union. I don't really think it's a big leap to assume that the Seven Sisters might be right around the corner. and. I'd like to know what might happen. Well, that's not likely. Not for a while, anyway. After all, the Beta Hunters are the ones who caused the Day of Seven Sisters. But the Betas were just formed by Rose a couple weeks ago in this timeline. They're a ways away from being the Four Horsemen. You're actually afraid, aren't you? You don't think I'm crazy or delusional anymore, do you? I never said you were delusional. But you never really believed me. Your job was to figure out what was causing me to think there were two timelines. Why the sudden change? Well, I mean, Donovan became president, just like in your other timeline. But I told you that today. Donovan became president last month. I could be making it up, taking current events and putting it into my story to give it legitimacy. Why do you suddenly believe me, so much so that you think the Seven Sisters are right around the corner? The future. Really, what happens to the country after the Seven Sisters? I get it, Texas and California secede and go to war, but what happened to the rest of the country? Well, the, the Eastern U.S., they stayed together, but it dropped the Bill of Rights, rewrote the Constitution, the government took over the corporations, condensed the remaining states into the 10 corporate states of America. What was it like, life in the corporate states of America? <laughs> I'm not here to argue the effectiveness of the green warrants. Study after study has showed study a significant decrease. Study after study, decrease. termite farts are more devastating to the environment than all of the combustion engines in existence from 2001 until 2012 combined. You get no argument from me on the dangers of termite emissions. But if we could begin decreasing the human population on this planet, we decrease the need for many other things, like the need for housing, which in turn decreases the need for the wood that inspires the growth and of these you termites. You and your brilliant colleagues in Congress have decided the best way to do that is to systematically execute our own citizens. They're not executions. They're sacrifices for the betterment of the earth. What about the betterment of mankind? There'll be no mankind left unless we curb greenhouse gas emissions and end global warming. Carbon dioxide is one of the leading causes of global warming. There are seven billion people on this planet, Ms. Jonas, all of them emitting CO2. Our green warrant program 
has allowed us to begin eliminating these emissions. By eliminating the lives of those. Are you going to let me finish? I let you speak. Will you let me Senator, speak? Senator, have you ever thought that 1930s Germany would have been very different if Hitler had been interrupted? Are you comparing me to Hitler? Yes, sir, I am. You have instituted a program to systematically kill anyone you deem fit. Hardworking Americans. John Smith in his office trying to make a better life for himself and his family. Suddenly, he's taken out by a green agent bullet, which ends his life. It is sad. It is pathetic. As Senator, it is reminiscent of the Holocaust. Only instead of exterminating Jews for what Hitler said was for the sake of the economy, you are executing anyone you want for the sake of We're the economy. We're not simply eliminating anyone we want, Miss Jonas. There is a very carefully... What about specific, senators like yourself? Excuse me? What about senators like yourself? Why doesn't this carefully calculated way of executing citizens allow for the inclusion of senators and representatives in your little lottery? I thought we were past this argument. This issue was greatly debated in both the House and the Senate when we passed... This green, green warrant legislation is a disgraceful unconstitutional. The Supreme war. Court declared, let me speak. I've let you speak long enough. Now, I'm not just going to sit here and be challenged. That's what you're afraid of. That's why the green warrants were created, not to eliminate greenhouse gases, but to eliminate political adversaries. The green warrants are issued for, for people like me. Mark my words, ladies and gentlemen, within a month, you will hear news broadcasts that I, Michelle Jonas, was served with the green warrant because of this show today because I had the audacity, Senator, to I, oppose you. I assure you, Madam, if you were to have a green warrant issued against you, it will have nothing to do with this constitutional exchange of ideas. The free exchange of ideas, Senator, was done away with with the Bill of Rights almost 10 it years ago. It was deemed ago. necessary to eliminate the Bill of Rights in order to protect the children. It's always this... about the children. Healthcare, save the children. Planet needs saving, do it for the children. Eliminate the Bill of Rights, let's do it for the children. I was no longer willing to be forced to look a young child in the eye and tell that young boy or girl why some madman with a semi-automatic assault rifle just killed his mother. Senator Mason, how do you explain to a child that his parent was eliminated by a green agent? What do you say to him? You know, Miss Jonas, Instead of telling you what I would say to a young child whose father has just sacrificed his life for the betterment of this planet, I'm going to tell you what a nine-year-old boy told me just two days after his father made his sacrifice. This nine-year-old boy had no tears in his eyes, but a deep sense of pride. As I held his hand and presented his mother with the ceremonial flag of our great nation, that brave nine-year-old boy looked up at me and said, well, I think we should hear those words from his own mouth. Justin, come on out here, son. Now, son, you tell the nice people out there what you told me about your father. I'm proud that my dad gave his life to give me cleaner the breathe. My only hope is that I will be able to make the same sacrifice for my children. Presentation revelation. Eyes to see, ears to hear. Investigation interrogation.
<laughs> I really hope I'm not wasting my time again. I've got some really important people to be investigating. Instead, I'm wasting time with you. Well, fine, don't bother. Seriously, no, don't bother. I mean, the whole world's going to hell in a handbasket. Literally? Only if hell is freezing over. I don't have time for this. Oh, AJ, AJ Dawson, come on. Don't go. Stay a while. Come, have a seat. Have a seat. Have a seat. Let's see here. Did you bring it? <laughs> you're a skeptic, okay? I know this, he knows this, like many of us. But you're smart, okay? You're smart because you know that voicing your opinion will make you a target. And your partner, your bearded partner, you're worried about voicing your opinion to him, even though you trust him more than you've ever trusted anyone before, ever. I don't trust anyone. Okay. What about the government? Do you trust them? I don't trust anyone who knows more than I do. And that's why he doesn't trust anyone. You don't, you don't trust anyone who knows more than you do. Why? Why? Because if they know more than I do, it means they're not telling me something. Major Q Wolf, make him trust you. Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right. Corporations have been on good terms with, with the California monarchy and the Republic of Texas since their uh, secession in, um, in 2012. Um, 12. And apparently we came here for a history lesson. No, 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 no. The, the corporations ha have been on have been friendly with both, uh, never uh, supporting one over the other, declaring complete neutrality. Okay, not supporting either one, and uh, since they go to war with each other, why? Why is this? Political reasons, uncertainty as to who was going to come out on top. If they side with California and Texas wins, they're going to have a hell of a time mending their relations with Texas. Please, Agent Dawson, come on. Has there ever been a question about who's gonna come out on top over in this little skirmish? Okay, you got California, which is full of thugs and, and drugs and actors and waiters and, no, 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 no. See, Texas has got ex-military, uh, um, well-trained, well-disciplined, well-armed patriots. What's your point, Wolf? What if politics weren't the reason, okay? What if, what if the corporations wanted California and Texas at war. Why would the corporations want that? What are they going to benefit? Why, would they, why wouldn't they want that? To keep them occupied, to, to, to keep them busy, to keep them concentrated on a war effort, to divert their attention away from finding out the truth. The truth about what? About the world. <laughs> okay, 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 no problem, no problem. Here, just, just. Look at this. Tell me what you think. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Sorry. Sorry, that's mine. That's... that's... Okay, no... Aha! I'm sorry! No! That's what I want you to say. What are we looking at here? It's a big blue and green planet. In space! It's called Earth! He's a funny guy. He's real funny. No, I... I thought you were a moron. We need to get right, right. You notice anything? Yeah, the Earth is getting warmer. Mm -hmm. But between 1998 and 2012, the world was starting to cool off. This is nothing new. I mean, it's the false adjustment. We learned this stuff in elementary school. In 2012, when those seven nukes went off, caused the temperature to rise. Seven nukes? You're gonna tell me that seven nukes helped cause global warming? Yeah, and overpopulation and corporate pollution. I mean, no, 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 no. How, how does seven nukes cause global warming have this kind of impact on an entire world when less than half a century before, Russia, China, uh, the United States had been testing over 2,000 nuclear weapons of mass destruction over the course of 10 years? He's one of them, Dawson. I mean, well, let me guess, we never went to the moon either. And... But what does what does that have to what does that have to do with any what? Shit, shit, beard. Shh. Look, we've been.
been told that we are causing global warming. Yet Mars and Venus have been experiencing the same temperature changes that we've been experiencing for the last 30 years. You think that you think our CO2 emissions made it all the way to Mars and Venus? Hmm? Really? Me? I'm looking for something different. I'm looking for a common denominator. Something that ties these worlds together, that binds them. I don't know, maybe something uh, like a like a big fiery ball of fire in the middle of our solar system. It's great, Wolf. But what does it have to do with us? Look here. These temperatures, they're all spiking in an upward curve. Right. Okay. Now look at this. It's leveling off. Where did you get these numbers? EPC headquarters. How the hell did you get into EPC headquarters? <laughs> Come on, is that really important? I mean... Well, yeah, I mean, how do we know these documents aren't doctored by you? How do we know that this is... So you're telling me that the world has been duped? No one has seen these numbers? These numbers can be verified, but no one is looking for them! But what about the UN? The UN isn't just going to sit back. Ah, the UN! <laughs> the UN! Oh, that big organization that gets 95% of its funding from the corporations? Give us a minute. If this is for real, this would be exactly what we've been looking for. Whoa! If this is for real, this could be exactly what we've been looking for. We get a search warrant to get an EPC, we find out exactly what they know. More importantly, what they're hiding from everybody. I agree. First, though, we have to... What? What? Feel that? No, what? The breeze. No. Whoa! What? Clean it. Isabella Montoya, Green Agent. Isn't that convenient? You know, just when you think you're gonna... Shit! The computer! Arrest her! She's got a warrant, Dawson! I don't care! Arrest her! You heard the man. Shit! Ah, wait. Isabella, um... Montoya, she was, wait, is she? Bossa Montoya's daughter. Ah, and she's the reason Montoya went back to California after the Seven Sisters. I can come with you. You have to get back to California. You have a daughter who needs you. During the Battle of Old El Paso, Montoya sent her to the States. And Esteban? He was able to get Isabella through. Okay, but why? Why send her uh, to live in the States? Well, licensed green agent. Shit. Isabella Montoya. Came to the States in 2018 from California. And get this, her father was first knight to the queen. He was killed in the Battle of Old El Paso. She got to the States and enlisted. She proved to be an expert marksman. When that green warrant legislation was passed, 
She was handpicked by Senator Mason to be one of the very first Green Agents. She has 27 confirmed terminations. Kills. 27 confirmed kills. <sighs> what do you think? Well, the warrant's valid. I mean, came down the pipe two days ago. But? But it's damn suspicious, if you ask me. I mean, the guy gets picked out of 150 million people to be a sacrificial lamb. I mean, just two days before he meets with us. I mean, the evidence he was going to turn over just disappears. Something's rotten. Yeah. But look, Dawson, I mean, you're talking about somebody who's capable of manipulating the lottery at, at a moment's notice. Someone in the EPC. And us. Just two corporate cops. With, with a hunch. Nothing else. Let her go. Isabel. What did you say? Isabel My name is Kenji Yokota. Fourth night to the Queen of California, you have been activated. Dawson, it's such a pleasure to finally meet you. Uh-huh. And you are? Are names really important? I mean, really. They only inspire individuality. They inspire the need to make one stand out. They're selfish, and they're meaningless. A remnant of a dying civilization. So I guess we should all go by numbers, then. I'd like to congratulate you. On what? On your latest case. The one involving the informant you call Wolf. Called him Wolf because that was his name. He was killed before he can get me the info he died for. And it's a good thing he did. Otherwise, you would be in possession of said information. Therefore, I congratulate you on making it another day. Making it another day? Without finding your name on the list. Feel fortunate you haven't been issued a warrant. Continue on this path, and your luck may change. <laughs> you are the dumbest son of a bitch that ever walked the face of the earth. I'm not intimidated by you. I'm inspired by you. Then my job here is done. I don't know who the hell you are or what agency you're with, but I can guess, and I'll tell you something. It doesn't scare me. It should. Adrian Dawson, Citizen 789-4501. Didn't you have your commerce chip replaced two months ago? Yeah, it was a line of duty. I reported it immediately and it was replaced. So what? Are you okay, Citizen 7894501? You look a little flushed. I'm fine. Really? 
I'm not a doctor, but I could swear you're about to have a heart attack. <clears throat> <gasps> Did you know the original chip was used to monitor heart rate and bodily functions of unhealthy and at-risk patients? Now, through the wonderful guidance of the corporate government, that same chip can now control heart rate and bodily functions. Is that really necessary? You couldn't have spared us the bumps and bruises by just saying the activation phrase right away? I have to see if you are still capable of completing your mission. Sleeper agent, they often become comfortable in their false lives. They often forget their skills and talent and trade them for the skills and talent of the life they are assuming. And me? Did I pass your test? Yes. But I suspect that is only because you never strayed too far from your original calling. A green agent? His paycheck? Killing innocent people. Very novel work. CO2 gas. Please. Okay. What am I being activated for? Hello, Isabella. Uncle Esteban, how are you? It's a recording. Oh. I'm so proud of you. As I'm sure your father is just as proud. He has no doubt been looking down on you. I hope he continues to do so. For I have a great and perilous task to ask of you. For nine years, our country was plagued by war. Even now, our relationship with Texas is strained. The slightest spark could reignite a devastating fire. I must ask that you risk your life to prevent this fire from igniting. While this is a very dangerous task, I have no doubt that you are more than capable of accomplishing it. Last week, one of our agents infiltrated the Environmental Protection Corporation. He retrieved a very important document, one that could be devastating to the corporate states, but one that could create a strong alliance between Texas and California. However, before he could deliver it, he was killed. With your reputation and the trust that you have gained as an EPC employee, we have no doubt that you're the perfect choice for this mission. You were to infiltrate the EPC headquarters, then secure the necessary files and deliver them back to us via your contact, Kenji. He's a brave and trustworthy associate. He has earned my trust, so he should be worthy of yours. Be careful, little one. Make your father proud. You know, I've been a sleeper agent for years now. I have developed an, an excellent reputation. I'm in deep. But <laughs> I've, been, I've been chosen to run an errand. It's not a job for a sleeper agent. I've thrown away four years of hard work, three years of intensive training, all for a, a file. I mean, how important can one file be? Our first operative was killed by bait hunters. You are your father's life. He loved you. Everything he did was to better your life. He did that by providing for you by fighting for you. 
He fought not for air for you to breathe, but for your freedom. What good is freedom without air to breathe? What good is air to breathe without freedom to enjoy it? Have you been here so long that you have grown to believe the lie they're telling you? Perhaps they exaggerate. Perhaps they take it a bit far. <laughs> but, but, so what? It's all for a good cause. I mean, it's all to make the world a better place to live in. You are not living in the world I would want to live in. One way, your freedom is replaced with the promise of living longer in exchange for guarantee of long life. You sacrifice the pleasure that make that life worth living. In my world, you may die young, but you will live the way you choose. What do you want me to do?